Lesson Overview, Chemical Reactions Unit, Lesson 2.3, Explaining How the Rust Formed. In this lesson, we use models to visualize groups of atoms rearranging in a chemical reaction, which shows scale, proportion, and quantity along with cause and effect. We do this in order to investigate three claims about how the rust formed, and we construct written explanations to communicate information about the evidence we find. Our step-by-step -step plan is to complete the warm-up and hand that in. In step two, you will use a paper model with tokens to model a reaction to answer the chapter question. Uh, select the correct answer based on your model and hand that in. Uh, the paper model, again, you can continue what you did in the previous lesson or you can access it through Classroom uh, Lesson 2.3 folder. It's a PDF and you can print that off or you can view it on your screen. Find tokens from around the house, anything you can use, game pieces, coins work well to do that. Step three, you're gonna to continue to use the model to create molecules of rust. From that in step four, you'll be able to explain in writing to Westfield about the rust in their water. And then you'll wanna hand that in. Step five gives you a chance to revise your writing as always, the writing process. And then actively read an article about a scientist who preserves art uh, using some of the information you learned from this unit. And then respond to the questions and hand those in. That will complete the lesson. A reminder that our unit question is still, how do new substances form? Within that bigger question, how did the rust form? And in this lesson, we really get to explaining how that happens. And then the investigation, how do substances change into different substances during chemical reactions? That'll be part of the explanation of how the rust formed. Amplify Science, Chemical Reactions Unit, Chapter 2, Lesson 2.3, Explaining How the Rust Formed. As always, we begin in the lesson brief. We have access to digital resources if we need to, in this case, projections. In the warm-up, we reflect on what we've learned about how substances form. A single question for us to respond to and hand in. In Step 2, uh, there's another hands-on activity. In this case, we're using our models, our paper models and our tokens to examine and test the three claims that we've been provided. Uh, they are there at the bottom of the screen. And we see uh, iron pipes, fertilizer, and rust. And our job is to try to figure out how is it possible to create rust from iron pipes and fertilizer. Keeping in mind what you learned in the previous lesson about which atom colors uh, and how you might rearrange those molecules, those using your tokens uh, and, and to build an uh, iron oxide or rust molecule. Now as part of this step, uh, there you do have a memo and we want to project that. Uh, it reminds us of the three claims. So Dr. Jung, the lead chemist, asks us uh, to develop a report eventually to the residents of Westfield and answering which of these claims is most likely the cause in step three, we continue to use the model. We're actually going to build rust molecules uh, so we know it well enough to be able to explain it to what's happening to the residents of Westfield. And they do provide for us a little organizer. You can either use it on your screen or, again, you can go into the classroom lesson 2.3 folder and open the PDF, How Rust Formed. And this will allow us to model very clearly uh, how where the rust came from and why the pipes have reddish brown material in them. And then we can use that to explain that to the residents of Westfield. In this case, they give you a review the material from what the iron pipe material looked like, what the fertilizer looks like, what the rust looks like, uh, and connecting it to the atomic scale and your tokens and your models. And uh, you should be at this point able to figure out how those chemicals might re uh, rearrange those atoms uh, to form rust. In step four, you have the opportunity to explain in writing what you discovered with your model. Uh, and there's a word bank there. Make sure you're using these words in the explanations. And uh, this is your first draft at explaining to Westfield how the rust formed uh, in their water. Be sure to hand that in. And then in step five, uh, writing process, as always, you get a chance to revise your argument. And then... In the second screen of step five, uh, you are going to actively read a short article, Meet a Scientist Who Preserves Artwork, and they have you respond to one question there. And that completes uh, lesson 2.3.